morning. What's the plan for the week then? Well, we are going to have a bit of a slower week. Well, not slower, but I feel that now we can start really getting our teeth stuck into stuff. The Now the road's been done and the spring's been done, we're fully like settled, aren't we? Yeah, we've got all our amenities. Yeah. And as you might notice, the bus is in a slightly different place behind you. Yeah, we've moved her up one terrace slightly away from the caravan just because it's better sun here and it was closer to the trampoline and all that kind of stuff but actually it feels like we're on a little holiday doesn't it? <laughs> yeah <laughs> you know, it does when you move around the campsite back on the road <laughs> yeah exactly um so this week we have got the wood delivery coming hopefully for the roundhouse and the barn and i'm going to send you out on a mission to find tires for the for the barn for the bottom of the barn what you're asking me is to go and try and translate why i want old car tires yeah. Um, and me and the children, I think, might do a bit of gardening, more bramble hunting and stuff like that. So, yeah, it's going to be a nice, chilled, really getting stuck into stuff. Starting week. to get on with some projects that we've wanted to do for ages. Yes, the exciting bits, yeah, for sure. Right, Badger's been busy up here. Well, I've been making a chocolate cake for the children. This looks exciting. Yeah, I'm just cutting the oak that the neighbour pulled down and was going to put in his log burner, which I thought was crazy. So I asked to buy it and he said if I buy him a local sausage, I could have it. <laughs> I thought that was pretty cheap for seven, eight metre oak trees. A local um, Portuguese sausage? Apparently. I've got to find out what it is first. So I've got to ask around. Talk me through the plan. The plan is these are going to be the uprights all the way down the side. It'll then have a wall plate and then the roof that will sit on top and then tiles. So it'll be open. These will be the main supports holding it off the ground. Um, but I wanted to make it look rustic and authentic and not have to buy it essentially, apart from yeah. the cost of a local sausage. <laughs> <laughs> we need um, to find the local sausage. I know, we really do need to. Um, As Badger was just saying, these logs are from our neighbour's land just over there. In last week's video, we saw the digger pulling them out. The neighbour wanted to use them for firewood, which was devastating as per oak. Anyway, so we called him up and he's so lovely and we explained to him what we wanted to do with them and if we could buy them off him um, because we want to make our worktops and all that kind of stuff out of it. Anyway, he's just so lovely. He said, if we buy him, basically a Portuguese sausage or like a hamper kind of thing. We can have them, which is just absolutely incredible. So yeah, something that was not very great has turned out amazing. Amazing! I am snipping yet another, I don't know if you can see how many rambles there are, but what's really exciting is I kept finding these little shriveled up grapes, obviously still on their vines and very small. So after snipping all the brambles, I'm hoping these little vines here, let me see, oh, okay, maybe not that one. But these vines here will be given a new lease of life. There's a big one up this tree. Can you see the grapes all at the top? They've all gone wrinkly and old now, but I'm hoping that they will survive and we can hopefully grow a few more grapes. But for now, so here's another little one, little vine. I'm sure all the winemakers out there would be like, they're ridiculous, so small, but for me, it's pretty exciting. Right, as I'm sniffing, I think I can hear the tractor coming. I'm hoping it's gonna be the wood delivery, which is super exciting. Um, let's go see. Oh, two. Two wood delivery men. They probably think I'm mental that I'm filming. So 
this is for our roundhouse. This is such a big moment we've been waiting for. I'm so excited. I wanted these much longer for battens for the roof and I also wanted a hundred meters not a hundred of them <laughs> oh but we'll make them work for something okay so we've got all our floor beams and roof beams the roundhouse oh. there Amazing! This is a big day for you, isn't it? Yeah, I've been excited for this. Feels real though. I know. Well, real and now I've got to do it. Yeah, come on. <laughs> I'll get the old whip out. <laughs> Why do we have to move all the wood? Because they've not put any sticks between. Here, look. So it's all freshly cut wood and the moisture can't get out between here and here. So if you look at one that's been in the sun, and then you turn it over you can see it's wet look on the bottom and then obviously that gets worse and worse and worse and worse and worse and then the wood all swells and warps and we need to dry it really so I've made that flat and we're gonna stack it the big ones that way and the small ones that way like Jenga but with gaps and the wind can wash it all out and get all the moisture out and the um, then a sheet of plastic to stop the rain and that's it and it starts the season I'm a lumberjack and I'm okay. <laughs> I'm not okay. <laughs> is that heavy? Yeah, some of them are so heavy. They're like super pot luck, aren't they? Yeah. Or the ones that are really wet. I think that's a different time of year that you cut the tree. Um... Apparently, to do with the moon and the tides, depends on how much water gets drawn up the tree. So it's best to cut it when it's at a low period of the moon. When I say the moon, I don't know what that means. Well, clearly, the sawmill happened the wrong time because they're really <laughs> heavy. Right, let's just go get the rest of that. to get some tires from the local tire place because they give them away for free and I think it's a great little uh, reduce reuse recycle moment to use those to put the base of the the barn on so I'm just going to fill the car up with tires hopefully so all the tires here I've got a few in the car I'm just going to add a few more so now I do look a bit like a spiced pumpkin driving around with 17 old car tyres, um, but all for a good cause. The scavenger is back, scavenger hunting, tyres. Tyres. Reduce, 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 you reuse, recycle. <laughs> Easy for you to say. <laughs> How many did you get? I got 14. Oh, great. And I got three for the house. 
So are these the tires for the round uh, for the barn. So people don't think we're completely bananas. Right. Why have you got so many tyres? So, my plan is that I'm going to compact the ground with a whacker plate because it's this sort of gravelly side road at the moment you can see on the wall. And then I'm going to level it and I'm going to put <coughs> concrete or gravel. I don't think gravel is going to quite do it, but concrete inside the tyre instead of in the ground and then I'm going to hammer a nice thick bit of metal rebar through the middle and then each one of my oak posts I'm going to drill a hole up through the bottom so that they sit like that on top of the rebar but away from the ground to stop the water soaking in. Great! That's the plan! Perfect! Picked up our ordered our next wood delivery. Yeah. What did you just tell me about the people? Well, it's husband and wife that run the Sarasau, which is the sawmill. They're both missing a finger each, which <laughs> is dedication to the cause of sawmilling, I imagine. Um, but they're so such lovely people. Um, and she gave me more discount this time, I think. Mayor's discount up, so that's always good, I hope. <laughs> that's really good. <laughs> Um, and yeah, so the timeline is whenever they can do it, which is... Who knows? Who knows? But it's great. They just <laughs> give you 24 hours warning that they're going to deliver all your wood, which is perfect. Amazing. <laughs> I like it that way. Gives me more time to reflect on what I'm going to build and how I'm going to build it. Exactly. Let's me redesign it 12 times before they actually deliver the wood. <laughs> <laughs> Here comes the mammoth job of moving all this wood. <laughs> over there. They're really heavy, surprisingly heavy, but we need them to dry out in the sunshine, so. And I have to say, the sunshine is giving me life. Time to go check out the lavanderia. I'm going to get Badish to give us a little tour so you can see what he's done. Lavanderia. Lavanderia. Well, it's lavanderia, my tool shed, and our gardening tool shed. But first, the lavanderia. So, what I did was, is I tapped into our water over here. I put a little tea piece on and ran the water under the lavanderia. And I'm talking about the lavanderia. And I came up here and I put an isolation valve on here and we come up and then through the wall onto this brass piece. This is a T piece which allows the water into the washing machines. And then I drilled a hole back through the step with these two and they go under to a soak away and it goes through and disappears in there. So we have a dishwasher which opens this way, which is currently on. <laughs> and we have inside the washing machine on the bottom and then on the top, a tumble drive. And the tool shed. And then all my tools. And my large collection of nails, which I had to order from the UK. As if anybody who watches the Indie Project will know, you cannot buy nails for a nail gun in Portugal, which is very frustrating because I want to make everything out of wood. <laughs> um, and then in the back doors, we've got my tools and my area for prepping. We're even drying out our kindling at the moment in here. It's the most multi-purpose, multi-use, 1500 pound van I've ever had. <laughs> at the moment, not great, but we have to run it off the generator. As we were just saying, we do unfortunately have to use a generator at the moment. Um, as the sun is quite low in the sky, we're not getting that much power on our solar panels. So until the water turbine is sorted, we are using the generator probably twice a week when we do the washing. Um, it's not for long, but 
yes, yes. It's been a lifesaver so far. Where are you off to, guys? Where are we going, Pixie? To the den. To the den? We've come down into the forest. Crumbs has come with us. He's like, where's Wally on these videos? Spot him in the corner. Where's the den then, Wilfred? In there. In there? Wow. So phase one was to clear it out, was it? So this is our big apple tree that before we bought the land had snapped, but it's got all these little shoots growing back up of it. And the children have cleared a space underneath so we can come in. Wow. A little den in the old apple tree. But we don't know what to put in it. Well, we're going to need somewhere to sit, I think. What yeah, do you think? Stools. Like, stools. The dream is for the apples to uh, grow through. Oh. Them, eat them in the den. Wow. We don't know much about trees. So, so. this is a child's apple juice den and an uh, adult cider den. Is that what we're saying? Wow, well done, guys. A star den. Yeah. Wilfred's little carving. A face hunt. Is that the idea? People got to find the faces in the forest. Uh, Who wants to come and see where I want to put the swimming pool? Yeah. Or I should call no uh, a river swimming pool. Do you want to see? Yeah. Come on then, follow me. Crumbs! What are you doing up the tree, you numpty? <laughs> it's alright, he'll follow, I'm sure. It's down here, and then through this little gap, and then you see a little flat plane in the uh, river. So, guys, the plan is that we need to get the stones from over there, and we need to move them to the dam along here to make this bit deeper and then this will be our swimming pool with a little jacuzzi bit at the back. What do you reckon? Yeah. Good idea? Yeah. What do yeah, you think, Beatrix? Nice yeah, like I don't think it's a big drop down there, but it's all pretty flat. <laughs> he finally got out the tree, yay! Well done, Crumble! Thanks again guys for watching this week it really does mean the world to us doesn't it yeah it's great it's so lovely to have everybody's comments and likes and sort of well wishes it's it's amazing really it's lovely yeah gives us a lot uh, keeps us going when we're thinking we're completely crazy so yeah, definitely. yeah it's great make sure you subscribe and hit that like button um and next week what's the plan plan is next week that we're going to start the barn yes the barn build it's really exciting i can't wait um yeah we need to get tiles and all sorts tiles and wood and it's getting serious it is getting serious things June, are happening day off yeah. tune in next week see you next week